test now. One, two, three, four. Everyone good? How's the sound? State your name for the record. <laughs> My name is Chad Leonard Barrett. Uh, state your name for the record. Leah Barrett. We moved here in March of 2012. So March 2018 will be six years. I don't feel out of place, not at all. I feel different than others, but not out of place. We're, everyone on the islands are very welcome. Possibly. You feel different, you know, a little. I'm taller than a lot of the people. Um, of course, we look different. So you feel different, but you never feel like an outcast. Let's see you guys. <laughs> Robele is a person, it's Marshallese, and it means a person with many things. But it's what they call a foreigner, or a white person. Let's see you guys. <laughs> you gotta do the oh 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 skinny stretch of, of island with 15,000 people living on them. 70% or more are under the age of 18. So it's children everywhere. Everyone's real happy. Um, there's a, a weird sense of security on that little island. And it's just a, Iba is a very unique place in the world. And the friends don't have a lot, but Whenever a visitor comes, or just with their brothers and sisters, they're quick to help in any way they can. Coast Rye um, is very small, so hospitality there also because they really appreciate the brotherhood and so just always making you feel welcome. Koshra is a very mountainous island and there's only I'm guessing about 6,000 people on the entire island and so it's very people are lives very spread out and so it makes for there's a lot of uh, nice vegetation some unique fruits there that aren't in other parts of the Micronesia, like the tangerines. Those are very delicious. Ponape. Ponape, the things we uh, love again. Number one always is the friends. They're the most <laughs> special and beautiful thing on the islands. Um, other than that, the uh, surfing is world class here but I don't know how to surf but the coral reef inside the lagoon of Ponape is I think probably one of the best in the world it's so uh, beautiful and so varied and there's just lots of life inside and on the island of Ponape They're different, but they're the same. There's like a, a common string of things, like sense of responsibility to family, responsibility to your tribe or your clan, um, respect for the Bible. Those are all things that tie them together. And then also cultural things. There's very similar cultural things, but then those cultural things also um, separate them. So there's different things, but like similar diets, similar culture, but a difference in their personalities. I guess but the, the similarity is they're all very 
family oriented. They love their island. They're proud of their island. And they all love fish and rice. There's beautiful things about each island. The ocean and the sky in the Marshalls is vast and big because you're on such a small piece of land. So the ocean and the sky is gorgeous. Coaster, I love the mountains. They're sharp peaks and they're beautiful. Lift you up, man. Oh, you got that close? Uh -huh. oh. Yeah. Ponpe, it's green and there's so many flowers and plants. And I always love that about that. One of the sisters said in her mind when she thinks of the places, she doesn't think of anything geographic or anything, um, a landmark or anything like that. She thinks of the friends and the friends' faces. And that literally is what comes to my mind when I think of the islands. It's the friends' faces, the friendships we've made. Those pop into my head. Getting to see truly how people live. I love that. I love learning about people and their culture and what makes them who they are as a people. And so that's something I love. Saying goodbye to me is... <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> it's never, I really never feel like it's a forever goodbye. It's always like I'm just gonna see them again in the future. <laughs> Uh, maybe that's because of our, our last three years, we would always come back. So we would say goodbye to every island, basically every week, and we always came back. And we kept doing that over and over and over. So when we say goodbye, it's like we'll see you in a few weeks. And so, and even with family and friends, I feel like we'll always be We'll always see them again very soon. For now, I don't like saying goodbye ever. And it's hard every time I leave Montana saying goodbye to family and friends. And then it's hard saying goodbye after three years. So I think I don't like goodbyes. The brother and Chuck, when they had our going away party for us, he said that because we're going away, there will be a big deep ocean that separates us but their love for us was as big and deep as that ocean and i thought that was a very touching goodbye thank you thank you